we're live, we're live. I have to. Hello. Hello. Happy Monday. Um, what are we going to be discussing? We're going to be discussing um, having power over your career. And I think this is a topic that's probably touched on a lot, um, you know, on social media, on whatever, any class that you go to. Um, the way to have power over your career is to do all of the things, you know, to be in action and uh, to do the headshots and the reel and the training and get to that studio and that technique and that teacher and that reel and that agent and that workshop and do, 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 do. And then you'll have a career. And... Um, that's not what we do in our community. We do the opposite. We say that the power is first and foremost inside of you. And until and unless you get your power back, which is your truth, your freedom, your instinct, your real self, the ones that's sitting right under your conditioned self, which is your conditioned self is your persona. It's your identity. It's your ego. It's your coping mechanisms. It's your defense mechanisms. It's everything that's not really you. Everything that you've had to learn because you were born in, um, in a context where authority tells you what to do and you can't be your own authority. So you're conditioned, like programmed to behave a certain way, to think a certain way, to feel a certain way. And you usually get denied of your own experience. So you're usually not allowed to feel the way you want, to think the way you want. At school, you're being told what to think and how to think. You're not allowed to behave the way you want. So you pretty much get a lot of no's on who you are. And instead, that's replaced by a program of conditioning. So you're taken out of the system. You're trained out of your instinct, out of your freedom, out of your truth, out of your authenticity, out of your own feelings, out of your own guidance system. So you're trained out of everything that is you. And that's replaced by, here's the program, here's the conditioning, here's the wiring. This is how you need to feel. This is how you need to behave. This is how you need to think. And um, so that leaves you in a very disempowered place because you're not plugged into your own self. You're plugged out of yourself and into what others want and what others say. And therefore, you're always under a certain authority that needs to tell you what to do. And so there's no power there. Your power is your capacity to be embodied in your own nervous system, in your own body, in your heart, in your soul, to really be you. That's where your power is. That's what you came for, to experience you, to share you. So as an artist, definitely more than in any other profession, your power, your uniqueness, your genius lays in your capacity to be with yourself, to be with that power, that feeling, that instinct, that freedom, that truth that only you have across all space and time. Only, only you are you. And so um, until you have that reset, until you're back into your power, into your truth, into who you really are, into your freedom, into your instinct, into your impulses, without any condition, without any authority, without any repression, until you're there, everything you're gonna do is gonna be you doing and showing up at your reel, at your pictures, at your networking, creating your content. You're showing up from your conditioned place. So you're not you. So let me try to do it graphically. So you're born this way, like this is, hey, this is you. And then conditioning comes on top and says, hey, you can't be angry. You can't be too loud when you're happy. You can't really cry in public. You can't think what you want. No, you need to learn this, math, English, history, geography. You, you need to behave. 
you need to really uh, be what we tell you to be. So basically, you're born like this and then you just shut up, be quiet, do what you're told. So this is your conditioning. So this is not your power. This is your power. This is your conditioning. This is your power. So when you show up and do all the things, the real, the headshot, the networking, the content, blah, 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 the workshops, and you show up this way, there's no power. There's just a coping mechanism from being held, being tied up, being caged, being forced to behave a certain way. So all, all we'll see that shows up is this shell, this mask, which sometimes is a shiny mask, which sometimes is a is a professional mask, sometimes it's a smart mask, sometimes it's a very elaborate mask. It's still a mask. You're here. This can be very, very sophisticated. It's still a mask and it's still very superficial compared to what you have to bring. So until you reset that, you have no power. You only have like a programmed lobotomized version of yourself moving around trying to put the ducks in a row trying to make a puzzle work that you don't even want to make because you're not in touch with who you are right so first and foremost you need to reset your power when you're powerful yeah sure go do the headshots go do the content go do the networking because guess who shows up when you're networking from this you're a very different person than when you're masked when you show up like this, people can actually see you. They can hear you. They feel you. They can experience you. This they can't experience. They only see a sophisticated mask. So get this first. Get this back. You were born like this. Get this back. And then do all of the things. And then you'll have a career. That's how you have power over your career. Your career is only going to be the result of you being able to walk like this. If you walk like this, you're going to have a career like this. And this is not you. This is a mask that's on top of you, on top of your system, on top of your truth, on top of your freedom, on top of your soul that's behaving. It's not what you came for. It's not fulfilling. Um, all right. If this makes sense, let us know. We can send you a link, a free training. Um, we love being of help. <clears throat> Let me look at the messages. Thank you, Jose. Jose says, I rock. Vera. It's like the song Express Yourself when he sings, it's not what you look like when you're doing what you're doing. It's what you're doing when you're doing what you look like you're doing. <laughs> I, You lost me, Vera, but I'm pretty sure um, it's, yeah, it's trying to say the same thing. Um, thank you for sharing that. That's funny. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys. Happy Monday. Happy week. And I'll see you on Wednesday for an interview. Ciao.